Welcome back. Well, today I am joined by Beverly Genero and Lynn Rosenstein, who are here on behalf of the Reform Temple of Laguna Woods. Well, Happy New Year, ladies. Thank Happy you. Year. Hi, Lynn, and thanks for having us back again. You're welcome. You know, I mean, every time we talk to you guys, you're always full of great information. And uh, I'm sure this is, you know, nothing short of tons of information, again, as usual, which is wonderful, because I really think that you guys do such a good job of having good events. You open it up to everyone, and we learn just a little bit every time about uh, Judaism and about your faith and all of the great things that you guys celebrate. So I think it's a, it's a great time. So thanks for being on. Uh, all right. So Lynn, you're going to start us off uh, with our year 2022. Yes, this whole year. We are celebrating the temple's 25th anniversary, our silver anniversary. And it kicked off with uh, Rabbi Joe's um, educational series, two-part series about the Torah. And speaking of the Torah, that's our prime focus this year. We have three Torah scrolls and they are all old and worn and our project for this year is to repair the one that's repairable. Mm -hmm. And to do that, we are getting some seed money together to pay a person who's called a sofar, which is Hebrew for scribe. Mm -hmm. And he is going to repair the one repairable Torah that we have. And then we plan to buy a smaller one as well that people can actually lift. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah, because the Torah itself is pretty heavy. It is, it is, and none of us are spring chickens anymore. <laughs> um, so to do this and raise that seed money, we are having 25 different events. We're calling it 25 for the 25th, and these will be hosted by temple members, um, and they there are just a wide range of things. Some are mahjong lunches, some are brunches, some are wine tasting. We have one event called Death by Chocolate, another event uh, that's put on by some members of our temple who are also in the clown group. And th that'll be a lot of fun. And uh, this will help us raise money to to fix our Torah, which is the centerpiece of Judaism. And every synagogue and temple has one at least, and they're uh, written, handwritten on scrolls and housed in an ark. And the Torah is a symbol of Jewish values and the embodiment of our beliefs. So we're excited about that. And we will be rededicating our fixed repaired Torah in October. So we have a year to get this all con concluded. Yeah, make, make sure you do me a favor, make sure uh, if that's allowed to get a few shots of what the Torah looked like before and then what it looks like after. So then in October, when you guys present it, we'll be able to talk about that and show what it looked like before and after. Well, that's a great idea. Yes, we will do that. Another thing that is happening is um, we have a social action committee, very involved people. Recently, they stocked the shelves of South County Food Pantry. And uh, now they have formed a, a telephone committee. Actually, they've reformed the telephone committee and they will be calling every member of our temple frequently to tell them what's going on in the, in the temple, to answer any questions about events and how they can get involved. But pr primarily it's, it's a social welfare check uh, because we have a lot of people who are feeling isolated and this is a way to connect them and show them that we really, we're really interested in their welfare and these Members of the phone committee will have um, all the telephone numbers, for example, the village social services, and be able to make referrals if people need it. So this is just one of the ways that we care for our people. Yeah, that's nice. I think that's great. You, de you definitely have to check in on them. 
Now, let me just go back to the 25th for the 25th. So these have been rescheduled to happen March, April, and May. Right. And of course, understandably so. So uh, how do people find out about those activities? Are you sending something out to all your members? Yes. Yeah, we have something that we've sent in an e-blast and also in our newsletter. Um, and rescheduling has been an interesting thing because every one of the hosts had to be called and all of the guests to change dates and everyone's been so cooperative and we're all looking forward to these events so it's an exciting thing for us yeah of course death by chocolate sounds like a really good one <laughs> <laughs> yeah i awesome. signed up for one that's a, a high tea and mystery which is oh. going to be tremendously fun there's they've they're so innovative. Uh, I love what that. Is, yes. Yeah. Well, they all sound very entertaining and something different for everyone, which I think is really a, a really key idea. So that sounds great, Lynn. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Beverly, you are going to go on to talk about the regular items that happen on a on an ongoing basis. Your book club. Right. And right. It's been a challenge because we've had to uh, revert to our uh, COVID protocol. <laughs> And everything is being done remotely. Uh, you know, we feel a very keen uh, moral and ethical responsibility to our membership to keep them safe. And so we're doing our best in that effort, but also keeping connected. Mm -hmm. um, our book club, which meets the third Tuesday of each month, uh, is still going on. The next meeting will be on Zoom and will take place on February 15th at 10.30 a.m. Uh, they'll be discussing the book called Rose Code by Kate Quinn, which so it sounds like a really uh, interesting book, and all Temple members are welcome to attend. Uh, for questions, please call Harriet Schwartz at 949-454-9211. Um, and as Lynn said, Rabbi Joe just finished a two-part education series titled, <clears throat> excuse me, Our Torah is More Than a Scroll in the Ark, this was an immensely illuminating program with so much interesting information about how the Torah is written on parchment, what kind of parchment, what it is that makes it a perfect Torah. And then he talked about how it's interpreted in the different um, parts of Judaism, the different groups, the different, uh, and you know, in the world in general. And uh, it, it was a two part program. Uh, uh, program and it was attended by many in the community, not just our members, but non-members as well. So we're, we're always glad to give information to those who are interested. And then uh, we just finished celebrating what is called Tuba Shabbat. Our, um, the 15th of the Hebrew month of Shabbat is when it's uh, celebrated. And that means literally means the new year of the trees. And um, it's kind of what we call our uh, Ecological Awareness Day. And and uh, we celebrated not only with a Tuba Shabbat service, but we had a special tree planting on the side of Clubhouse One. And this is the second tree we've planted there and everyone should go by and take a look at our new tree. <laughs> so that was that was really amazing. In, um, in future years, and we don't have to be worried so much about being together, we can have a Tuba Shabbat Seder which is the time when you eat special different kinds of foods and the rabbi will explain what those foods are. And, but for now we settled for this and we were happy to have it. Uh, everyone's welcome to our Friday night services, Lisa. Um, they're uh, every Friday night at 7.30. And as I say, they're only on Zoom at this time, but we look forward to when we'll be able to be in Clubhouse One again for right, our right. services. And, um, you know, as an inclu inclusive temple, anyone who wants to pray with us is welcome to join um, and to join the temple. And to, to join the temple, please contact me for a membership application, 949-829-6633. So that's about what we have going now. We've had to suspend our uh, some of our things that we would normally do because you know how active we are. Yeah, but uh, but we're still keeping connected and still pushing forward. Well, there, there is even more light at the end of the tunnel these days from what we can see on national news and a lot of reports that are coming out. Other countries are lifting bans and things like that. So we'll see how it goes. But uh, fingers crossed. Absolutely. 
All right, Lynn and Beverly, thank you so much for the information. Oh, thank thanks you. for having us. It's a pleasure. You're Take welcome. care. All right. And we'll be right back after this.